H&M cuts ties with Chinese supplier over accusations of forced labor. Here's a summary of the article. Stockholm, Swedish clothing giant H&M said Tuesday it was ending its relationship with a Chinese yarn producer over accusations of forced labor involving ethnic and religious minorities from China's Xinjiang province. A report by think tank the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, published in March, pointed to H&M as one of the beneficiaries of a forced labor transfer program through their relationship with the dyed yarn producer Huafu's factory in Enwe. While there are no indications for forced labor in the Shangyu mill, we have decided to, until we get more clarity around allegations of forced labor, phase out our indirect business relationship with Huafu Fashion Co., regardless of unit and province, within the next 12 months. The company also said it had conducted an inquiry at all the garment manufacturing factories we work with in China aiming to ensure that they are not employing workers, through what is reported on as labor transfer programs or employment schemes where forced labor is an increased risk. International pressure is building on China's ruling Communist Party over its actions in the resource-rich Xinjiang region, and on Monday the European Union pressed China to let its independent observers into Xinjiang, binding human rights to future trade and investment deals with Beijing. On Monday U.S. Customs said it would bar a raft of Chinese products including cotton, garments and hair products, from Xinjiang over fears they were made using forced labor. China on Tuesday slammed the U.S. move as «bullying» and dismissed accusations of forced labor as «a complete fabrication». This post received a score of 22,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Every step helps. Couldn't agree more. Random point but I never knew H&M was Swedish. That nation produces a lot for being so small. A lot of their stuff is made in India and other South Asian nations. I'm glad H&M are doing this. It's actually the one place I can go to in order to find sizes that I need in the styles that I need, want for work without skipping meals the next month because of the prices. I recently found a cool movement in my country called R. Buy Canadian and I've been doing my best to do so, but the stuff I get at H&M always just seems to last and last. And hashx 2 b I picked up a brown tweed jacket with elbow patches back in 2010 at H&M and it's done me so well for the past nine years. I can't imagine not having it. Really, I've had the opposite experience. Their stuff used to last very long, and I still have jeans from a very long time ago from them. Nowadays everything I buy falls apart so fast and the quality it noticeably downgraded from what I remember. Yeah same. Especially their t-shirts and sweaters but I admit I only buy their cheapest items. They have a more expensive line of clothing, which I guess it's supposed to be of better quality but I don't know. I mean, help me out here because I'm a bit slow. Those prices are ridiculously low and the business model encourages a somewhat, one-time wear. Add the weekly sales on the already low prices. I mean, I already deduced it to a sweatshop in 2015. So don't you think the CEOs are turning a blind eye until pressure is placed? Yes. That's been the business model for companies for a long time now. Everything is fine until the public finds out. Capitalism, baby. You say forced labor, I say slavery. You say forced labor, I say slavery. Forced labor, slavery. Forced labor, slavery. Let's call the whole thing off. Let's call the whole thing a massive human rights violation and everyone in the world needs to stand up to abuse but I like the song. I agree with you. I just hate the phrase massive human rights violation. I feel like it's sweeping under the rug just how bad this is. Now that's not your fault, it just makes me feel disgusting. It genuinely bothers me how anyone is okay with this. With grandparents who were in the Holocaust, one who was experimented on by Mengele, and hearing the stories firsthand, it's clear to be that the world has openly exchanged never again for never, unless you pay to do it. Edit, I typed the wrong Nazi due to doing way too many things at once, and someone helpfully pointed it out. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.